With Tony-nominated performances and hit films, John Leguizamo continues to share his love of culture in ways that make audiences laugh as well as cry. And in his latest project with director Ben De Jesus, they shine a light on the untold story of Latinos. Here's our chat. Well, John and Ben with us today. And John Leguizamo, I, I got to say, I've been a fan from the early days of when you did Romeo and Juliet. But I'm oh, a bigger you. fan because as a Latina, I know you've always done so much to bring out that Latino culture in you. Tell me all about this PBS series and how you're gonna utilize that to bring up everything great about Latinos. Well, thank you so much for your support. And the genesis of, of this series was that my son was doing a history project and uh, there were no Latino contributions in his textbooks. So I became a super sleuth dad and went online and ordered all the books I could get my hands on about Latin history. And I was dumbfounded and changed for life when I found this plethora of facts that we Latinos are the only ethnic group to have fought in every single war America's ever had. I'm talking about the American Revolution. 10,000 unknown Latino patriots fought. We funded the American Revolution, $2 million from Cuba, Mexico, and Spain that were given to George Washington. So we too are the sons and daughters of the American Revolution. And then 500,000 of us fought in World War II. We have 60 Medal of Honor honorees awarded. I mean, that's huge for any ethnic group. Our, and our contributions go beyond that in science, in, in, in cuisine, in, in uh, military, uh, everywhere, you name it. That history is incredible, and a lot of times we don't hear about all of that. So I'm so glad, John, that you're bringing all that into the limelight. Now, Ben, at what point did you meet John and say, we want to do this with you? <laughs> yeah, well, we actually became uh, partners and collaborators about 14 years ago. We worked on our first PBS documentary called uh, Tales from a Ghetto Clown. And ever since then, we got closer. We became really great friends and collaborators. and. It was just along the way when John was doing his Broadway show, Latin History for Morons, we started having some conversations which were, you know, look, this is incredible information. It's not all going to fit on the stage. What can we do, do to kind of give this a second life and even expand upon it? So pretty early on, I would say about seven years ago was when we started this project when John was on Broadway. So it's been an incredible ride. This is really gratifying to see people's reaction so far and to, to show Look, we've been here all along. A lot of times the Latinos are not recognized for the incredible things they bring to this country, but it's time to correct the record. And then we feel like this is a small part of that. That right there is a really inspiring message for people like myself, for my daughters, and really all Latinos living in this great country. Okay, John, let's talk about what you decided to feature in this series because when you speak of latinos there's so much to us we've got dreams we've got a lot of soul we've got you know there's a lot to 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 these cultures where did, from what angle did you approach this pbs series well we we wanted to address all of it you know make sure that we have our afro latinos all our indigenous latinos are included you know in all the countries you know Haiti, even Haiti because of Latin country, Brazil, make sure we got Mexico, Central America, South America, the Caribbean. We wanted to make sure it was complete and thorough. And uh, what we included was our first episode is our empires, how they were bigger than most of the European empires. I mean, we had 33 million Incas, 30 million Aztecs. Those were bigger than any European uh, nation or empire of the time, bigger than Rome. Uh, and then the, the, then we dealt with the second episode, which is what how we built America, you know, from the railroad tracks to, in the Pacific and uh, all the infrastructure. And it, where the first unionizers were Latina women in the 1930s. This, that's we, we try to select the most important things that showed that we helped build this country and continue to do so. Oh, I think that is magnificent. And yes, so much to cover. Okay, Ben, for you, as you're working on something like this, what do you think is the takeaway for you? Like, what is the one thing that really spoke to you? I felt just an incredible sense of pride in my roots and where I've come from and the great people that we come from. Our ancestors were incredible people that were very far ahead in so many facets of society that we uh, take for granted today. We had running water before anybody else. We bathed two or three times a day. So it's just this idea of like, we've been here all along and I want my daughter and 
and my future grandkids to have that sense of pride. And not only that, this isn't just for Latino people. We want all Americans and all other communities to realize, wow, Latinos have really brought a lot to this country without taking away from others. We just want to be uh, recognized and we want the history textbooks to be accurate. Yeah, when Ben said bathing, he was talking about our Aztec empires because our Aztecs had uh, running water and toilets before any European city or, or, or any other dynasty. Okay, see, I have to admit, I did not know that, but it's so interesting. And I think we need to give that sense of pride as to who we are, not just us, but those generations that are cut, that are growing up right now, especially, like I said, I've got two daughters and we talk about this all the time. All right, John, before I let you guys go, what two things do you want audiences to take away when they watch this? I want them to feel so empowered, so proud of their heritage and that they come from kings and great empires and that they help build America. And I want others to feel the same. I mean, I think when others see how we contribute to the making of America, they're gonna feel a huge sense of respect for, for us Latinos. I think the both of you are doing an incredible job representing all Latinos. So thank you both so much for the work that you're doing and for being with us this morning. Thank you so much, much love. Okay, everyone, Voces, American Historia, the Untold History of Latinos, airs on PBS. Check your local listings for dates and times.